burning coal in China. We want, they want our money to go to a foreign dictatorship. You know Justin Trudeau, I've said he's always admired the basic Chinese communist dictatorship in China. He just didn't realize that he meant he's going to send our jobs and our money over to that foreign dictatorship. So my common sense plan, my friends, is to ask the tax on Canadian businesses so that they can bring home the production to this country. We can make our own steel, manufacture our own goods, produce our own food, bring it home to our people, bring it home. The taunt directed at Justin Trudeau's expression of respect toward China's fundamental dictatorship sparks discussion about widespread public apprehension regarding Trudeau's leadership and his foreign policy stances. Pierre Poilievre's critique of Trudeau's dealings with China resonates with democratic principles such as national sovereignty, economic autonomy, and wariness of authoritarian rule. Poilievre's call to axe the tax for Canadian businesses can be examined as a policy initiative. Aligned with the democratic ideals of free market capitalism and minimal government interference to foster local production and employment opportunities. The gathering and Poilievre's discourse highlights societal unease about globalization, trade disparities, and external risks, encapsulating the Conservative Party's mobilization efforts.